Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do the bonus reading for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you Virgos and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Now cross watcher, if you're in here, feel free to flip the rolls. But Spirit, what is the strongest energy here today for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign? Aries, Leo or Sag? <laughs> There's something about the song. Um, hmm, who does, is it Usher that sings that song? I, does he sing it with Chris Brown? I think it's called A New Flame. Now, I can't really hear the song in my head. I can just hear them saying it. I can see them in that video. I believe they wore a lot of white or something. But there's something about a new flame. Now, this could be talking about some sort of energy of reconciliation or somebody wanting to rekindle something. Um, for others of my Virgos, maybe you met a new fire sign, you know. Um... <laughs> For some of you, if this is a new person, you could be really attracted to them because they're playing that silly song, I'm too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> too sexy for my So sexy it hurts, unless someone here has an ego problem. <laughs> but let's see. <laughs> What's the energy here? Not I'm too sexy for my shirt. Somebody walking around topless. I mean, well, the weather, depending on where you are, the weather's been nice, so... Ain't nothing like some eye candy. <laughs> What's the energy here? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Can I get a card for now? Thank you. And a card for going forward, spirit. Thank you. But I'm going to deck the world card. And the first one of the first cards I saw was the death card. So, hmm. There's that emperor energy. So you could deal with Aries, Leo. Yeah, some of my Virgos, you, you really healed from this person. I don't know if this was a toxic situation with the devil card. Um, but a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink next to the star card. Yeah, that tells me that's, that some of you are just over this person. Yeah, justice. It's almost like that energy, you know. Uh, it kind of makes me feel like for some of you with the justice card, it's an energy of if you have ended things with this person and they want to come back, spirit is saying the way things are going is fair and just. You made the right decision for some of you. And there we go with the full card, taking a leap of faith. And look at that right behind it. What defines us is how well we rise after falling. So for some of you, whatever this person put you through, it, it, it wasn't enough to destroy you. But Spirit says it was just enough almost to make you, though. Look at that as a part of the deck, the Empress. Yeah. So let's see what came out. You have in the reverse, it's in the upright, it says it wasn't me. And this is my compulsive liar card, okay? So in the reverse, it's making me feel like, I don't know if something here is getting exposed. What's going forward? The only thing harder than letting go is moving on. Hmm. Okay. Show me more. Virgo's in with a fire sign. Yeah, I just saw this card and the first thing I heard was, you are always on my mind. Who sings that song? <laughs> You've got like a weird voice. You are always on my mind. All right, one more shuffle. Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. It flipped on Leo. Or you have false person coming out. I'm telling you, is something here getting exposed? Show me more. And coming out sideways, any card that comes out sideways for me is a blockage, okay? So I don't know if someone's finances is on block here. I don't know if something has to do with money. 
right, with this sudden wealth card. We have 777 here, which is that energy of hitting the jackpot, okay? Number 11 as well, okay? We have a child at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why for some of you this feels like it has something to do with a property or inheritance here. It could be an, something that belongs to a child, right? But let's see. Child also is that energy of innocence. So what is this? It wasn't me in the reverse with a false person. What is this? The man, I don't know. This could be a, um, deceptive masculine energy. I'm also hearing with that sudden wealth coming out sideways, somebody trying to block your generational wealth, okay? Your destiny. Someone's name could be destiny. What is this false person? I have the mouse. Someone's scared now. Yeah. The mouse is a number 23, which could be significant, or the number 32. But it boils down to a five. And then this false person is a number eight, which could be significant. But the fives talk about change. It feels like someone here has got themselves stuck in some sort of karmic cycle. Now, the mouse, it talks about stress, nerves. It can talk about somebody feeling at almost at their lowest point here. But it can also talk about a thief. And what's interesting is, is the mouse is looking straight at this sudden wealth. Now, the mouse also talks about disease, right? When you think about mice, rats, you think about things like vermin, okay? <laughs> okay, show me, show me going forward. The ring with the sudden wealth. Are some of you marrying into money? But the ring, it talks about promise, commitment, partnership. It, again, it can talk about contracts and cycles. So some of you may definitely be entering a very abundant cycle here, right? It's making me think of like the Wheel of Fortune. Um, entering a very lucky phase for some of you. Um, well, I'll know more when the cards come out. Some of you may be getting married. Or well, this could be some sort of new contract that you're signing. Maybe some of you are entering a job where, you know, uh, maybe it's going to be paying more. But this is about Virgos dealing with a fire sign. Got birds at the bottom of the deck. There could be some sort of gossip going on about this fire sign here. Or they just have some sort of anxiety. What is this? Virgos dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, five of cups with a five of swords. That makes ten. I just saw the magician and the lovers. So I don't know, for some of you, this may have been someone who tried to do some sort of a love spell or something like that. Or, you know, it could just be someone who, it, I don't know, maybe they know how to manipulate people very well with their sexual energy. What is this? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Four of wands almost coming in the reverse. Yeah. So four ones in the reverse, seven of pentacles in the reverse. So something here was a bad investment. I don't know if this is an unhappy marriage situation or it could just be unhappy living situation. I'm telling you, I really feel like there's something here about a home. Maybe someone is homeless. Tower at the bottom of the deck. For someone here, you know, there could be a fire sign that, you know, regrets not marrying you or not investing in you. What's coming out sideways on this mouse? King of Swords. And what is this? And the Page of Wands. For some of you, this person wants to say something. They want to communicate. They want to speak their truth. 
but it came out sideways with the page of wands that talks about communication but there's a blockage what's the four ones with the page of wands the page of cups they want to apologize yeah judgment at the bottom of the deck which can talk about forgiveness what's the page of wands with the page of cups virgo is a fire sign Page of Wands with a Page of Cups, Spirit. Two of Wands with the Six of Swords. Landed on the King of Swords. Two of Wands talks about making a choice. For some of you, I feel like this person wants to move to calmer waters with you. But clarify. But it's coming out sideways. There's a blockage. Six of Cups. Show me more. And the Six of Pentacles. Justice and the King of Pentacles. I don't know, Vegas, if you're going to be receiving something that was kind of delayed. What's this Seven of Pentacles in the reverse? I feel like as well, for some of my Virgos, the way I'm seeing this Page of Wands and this Page of Cups, I feel like something that maybe your intuition has been telling you, uh, you may get some sort of proof or evidence about that. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse with the Eight of Swords. And the Temperance. There's, there's someone here, right? I don't know if you have a child with this person, right? Um, this is a general message. So that, again, the fire sign could be anybody to you, right? Um, I'm seeing an empress at the bottom of the deck with a nine of swords and knight of pentacles and the ace of wands. Ten of pentacles, six of swords. Someone's really worried about you moving forward here, Virgos. Eight of Swords talks about an energy of, you know, someone in some sort of a mental prison. And then you have this temperance coming out here, right, which is a number five, like the mouse. And it's almost like the temperance talks about bringing peace, balance and harmony to a situation. But it also talks about divine intervention. What's the Eight of Swords? Someone's feeling powerless about something. Now, I don't know if you're taking on this temperance energy where you found some sort of peace, balance and harmony, right? Oh dear, what's going on here? Yeah, look at this. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. With the Ten of Swords, the Hierophant and the World. For some of you, you could be dealing with an Aries or maybe, like I said, you have children with this person. This could even be a boss of yours. But they, whoever this Emperor energy is, right, they're going through some sort of ending. I don't know if this is an ending of a marriage here, right? I don't know if this is someone who betrayed you or backstabbed you because of some sort of differences in terms of belief and religion. Um, but this is someone who... Knight of Swords in the reverse and the King of Cups in the reverse. This is someone who is over emotional. The Knight of Swords in the reverse talks about, you know, someone who may be finding it very difficult or challenging or, you know, they could be having outbursts here. But this is someone who feels like they've missed some sort of opportunity. They're out of their depth. So the energy of feeling powerless and hopeless makes sense. This is someone who... I don't know, that they, they may feel like left behind. Or this is someone who, I don't know if this person was rude to you or Knight of Swords in reverse can talk about someone who is really kind of like, um, how would you say it, like spiteful with their mouth, right? What is the Knight of Swords? In the reverse with the King of Cups in the reverse. 
two of swords yeah someone's at some sort of a crossroads what's the two of swords with the knight of swords in the reverse Six of Cups again, Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Justice. We just saw those four cards. So is this about receiving something? Is this a legal situation for some of you? Something here is about an investment, because that makes the Seven of Pentacles again. But like I said, something here was a bad investment. So... What's this King of Cups in the reverse? This makes the Three of Swords energy, heartbreak, sadness, pain. What's this King of Cups in the reverse? The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone heartbroken over you. What's the King of Cups in the reverse with the Nine of Pentacles? So is this someone who is feeling some type of way because you're financially secure and stable for some of you? That's how you're coming out. Independent, successful. Some of you may have a very successful business. Maybe you are a business owner or maybe you with the nine of pentacles in the upright is just someone who knows how to make good choices. What is this? The Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone's heartbroken that you're walking away. Eight of Cups with the King of Cups. That makes the Nine of Cups. Okay. This is what we're doing today. Okay. What's this King of Swords? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. King of Swords is the strength card. I really feel like this may be Archangel Michael. For some of you, I was really looking at it like that as well. The way it was coming out kind of like sideways. Um, but the King of Swords with the strength card. Okay, show me more. Leo energy. And the Seven of Cups. Now, for some of you, the, the, there may be a fire sign here who is really trying to find some sort of inner strength here. Um, again, maybe to communicate something with you. For others of you, this is someone who is a little bit confused about what is making you so strong, right? Why are you so um, confident? Why you got so much control over your life? Some of you could definitely be like influenced or maybe you just set example, you know? What's the Seven of Cups? The Knight of Swords. <laughs> I don't know if you trigger someone, Virgos. What's the Seven of Cups? For some of you, it's almost this energy where you can see straight through people, right? Or you have very good discernment here. Or you're just not stupid. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Yeah, maybe some of you have Leo in your chart. What's this Queen of Wands, though? Because I see the tower at the bottom of the deck. What's this Queen of Wands? Coming out sideways. The Knight of Wands. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. I feel like for some of my Virgos as well, there may have been something here that has changed about you in terms of, especially with that Knight of Wands coming out sideways. Maybe you're no longer kind of just dealing with... Um, Flighty people, immature people, people that are only interested in one thing. I don't know. Emperor at the bottom of the deck with the Wheel of Fortune, with the Four of Swords and the Lovers. Some of my Virgos, there's a fire sign here. You, they want to know, well, what is it that you're keeping secret, Virgos? Well, why are you so quiet? Like, you know, what's going on behind the scenes? Nanya. Right? What's the sudden wealth in the ring? I don't know, Virgos. I feel like a little... I don't know if I'm picking up a little bit of attitude with you guys today. Now, maybe it's just attitude towards this person. The tower. The six of wands. Ooh, with sudden wealth, there could be some sort of finances coming in here or something here could come in and take you by surprise here, Virgos. 
Some of you may also be just like moving suddenly. Show me more. Six of Wands, there's victory, there's success, there's public recognition here. For some of you, this could be someone who is announcing something publicly, right? Maybe someone's going to propose to you in front of your family or your friends or... Show me more. Do you know what I'm seeing? I don't even know if they do that, if you can even do that anymore. I'm sure you can, but I don't know where you remember when i used to see things like people would like write in the sky marry me i see some weird something like that yeah i don't know eight of ones message but let's see so you have the three of wands okay and then you have this moon with the tower so we have heavy water energy here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But I feel like, let me see what clarifies this, because I feel like there's definitely something coming in. Oh, this is you, Virgo, six, seven, eight, nine of wands, right? This is you persevering and, you know, being very um, resilient and, and consistent in, in terms of working towards something here. It's like you following your vision. Some of you definitely could be traveling soon. But like I said, someone here may be thinking about relocating. Death card, the hangman, and the fool, yeah. What's the tower and the moon? The four of pentacles. Yeah, I'm telling you, I feel like some of my Virgos, you're really holding back. You, you just, I don't know if you're being real quiet or silent here. For others of you, I mean, there could be an Aries here or um, someone that it maybe is going through some sort of financial struggles behind the scene with the Four of Pentacles. But show me more about the Four of Pentacles because that can also talk about somebody wanting to really hold on to you. What's the Four of Pentacles? Is this about finances or fear? It is about... Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Someone who... This again makes the Six of Pentacles, right? I feel like someone is so stuck in their head about some sort of choice that they made from the past. What's the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles? Someone here may be trying to find some sort of balance. What is this? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Mm, someone's heartbroken. Could be about something they rushed into um, in the past. I'm, listen, okay, this is not going to be for everyone, but it's what I'm hearing. There's also a fire sign here who, it, it kind of feels like they're heartbroken about maybe someone or people finding out about what it is that they did for money. And it could be something sexual. But hey, now, okay, they're taking me somewhere else. Now, this could also be, right, if it isn't that, it could be about something. Listen. Okay, who's that? Um, it could also be about something that happened to them when they were a child. Okay, let me leave it there. So what is this six of ones? Thank you. Why did we need to know that? Why did we need to know that? I'm hearing because sometimes when people don't deal with their childhood wounds, it can destroy their adult life or it can affect the way they behave and towards people and things like that. But let's see, Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, what did I just say? Why did we need to know that? Because for some of you, there's, there's some sort of, I don't want to, yeah, I do want to say some sort of de delay in someone's growth or, you know, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. But I'm also picking up something here about finances. Um, show me more. Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Ooh. I don't know if someone here is worried about you moving forward.
What is this Six of Swords? I said Six of Swords. What is this Six of Wands? Six of Swords is still moving to calmer waters. Yeah, I'm hearing sail away, sail away, sail away. Ace of Swords. What's the Six of Wands? You have the Queen of Swords and you have the Five of Cups. For some of you, there's something that you're saying. It could be in public here with this Queen of Swords. Maybe you just said something to this person directly. But the Queen of Swords is someone who's not afraid to cut people, places and things off. It doesn't serve me. I'm not interested. I also see someone being sad about some sort of outcome and it could be in a legal situation. But what's the Five of Cups? What's this loss and grief? Loss, grief, guilt, remorse, heartbreak. There's a lot going on for someone here. What's the Five of Cups? Six of Pentacles again. I don't know if there's someone, listen, Six of Pentacles, giving, receiving. What's the Six of Pentacles? Someone is upset that there's someone who's in the public eye. Yeah, they're wanting to come out side, um, sideways, but more in the reverse. The Knight of Swords and the Death. Again, this energy of someone who has an inability to move forward, an inability to change, to transform. To break certain negative patterns here. I don't know if this is someone who, like I said, um, destroyed some sort of relationship with you and, and, and now they kind of need your help. Someone who is feeling left behind. But this could also be someone who is codependent. What's the Six of Pentacles? Knight of Wands keeps coming out. I'm telling you, someone here. What's the Knight of Swords in the reverse with the Death in the reverse? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. It's like sexual favors for money. Coming out sideways, the Fool and the Hangman. Someone is so stuck. The Four of Cups. So stuck that you are moving forward. But clarify this Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Could be a feminine energy, but I, I don't know. You could be taking on this energy as well, Virgos, right? It's almost like with the Hierophant here, it's like, I don't know if some of you are in some sort of leadership position or your connection with the Most High is just very strong. Your faith is very strong. The world and the ten of swords. What's the six of pentacles with the knight of wands? Coming out sideways, the eight of wands. Someone didn't want some sort of information to come out. Eight of pentacles. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I just heard porn star. I saw the star card and I just heard porn star. I, don't, I listen. What is the three of wands? <laughs> what's the three of wands each to their own you know uh three of wands coming out sideways is the knight of pentacles on the page of cups so some of you someone wants to give you an apology but i don't know they're hesitating or they owe you something what's this knight of pentacles with the um three of wands the hangman Stuck, 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 and stuck again. Hmm. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. <laughs> They're playing that song. Is it by Aaron Hall? I miss you. No, now they're playing them. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if this is a song by Jodeci now, actually. Um, I'm hearing Baby, I'm Begging, I'm Begging, something like that. I'm Begging, Begging, Baby. Hmm. I don't know if they're mixing the two songs. Has this person got bipolar? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Maybe they've been listening to a lot of sad songs, but Spirit, show me more before I run out of time. What's the energy in love? Hmm.
What's the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. So, yeah, man. <laughs> you got a reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning to your life. What's at the bottom of the deck? Retreat. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I don't know. For some of goes, maybe this person is going to put you in a compromising position where, you know, some of you... Uh, I don't know. What is the energy in love, spirit? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo. Or a Sag. <laughs> Give me six cards. So, ooh. Okay. No, oh, no, it's on false person. So why is this false person out here then? I feel like the false person for some of you, okay, is because of something they haven't told you. But again, it wasn't me, it's in the reverse. So they may want to confess something, but they are afraid, okay? So if they do come towards you to tell you something, Virgo, do not eat them, okay? Let them speak, Queen of Swords. Hear them out, right? Queen of Swords, she's fair and just. Got her hand out. I'm willing to listen. But I'm also real quick to swing that sword. <laughs> it's like, okay, Virgos, do not eat the fire sign. New chapter. It says, I am trying to move on. The only thing harder than letting go is moving on. So even though there's a separation here, there's still some sort of a, a, a I guess, an energetic connection. Now, you can say to me, oh, that's only on their side. I'll be like, okay, cool. You know? Show me more. Maybe you're the one telling this person, hey, listen, I'm trying to move on. Let it go. Gossip. It says I'm afraid of what other people will think. Mm. Yeah, see the way I'm seeing this? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, Eight of Swords and Temperance. For some of you, this is someone who maybe gossiped about you. They had certain things to say to people about you here, right? And now for them to want to come and reconcile and balance things out, people that they have spoke about you to is going to look at them like, huh? What's going on here? I thought you said. Hmm? So, show me more energy and love you have missed opportunity it says i didn't act when i should have it landed on the page of wands for some of you this person's chance has been missed they had a chance to speak up they had a chance to tell their truth right they had a chance to communicate but they didn't for some of you i see this person like it's either like writing out messages and not sending them or, you know, when you pull up the name of the person you want to dial, but they actually don't press call. Show me more. You have guilty. It says, I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Yeah. And bottom of the deck, you've got third party. It says there were other things that got in the way of us being together. I never even really noticed this is like a person. But it looks like there's like bare smoke or it's just like someone's gripping the side of their head. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot going on with this person here. As long as that, like I said, I miss you. This person, it, okay. Show me more. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt, spirit. Confused. Confusion. Like, what, what is going on? It's, it feels like this person, uh, I don't even know how to explain what I'm seeing. It says, I feel unclear about where we stand. Mm -hmm. And then you have shadow side. It says, you made me realize my flaws. And that's with missed opportunities. For some of you, this person chose to indulge in lower vibrational things.
for some of you with all this energy of the strength card the temperance here the six of wands the queen of swords you coming out in all this kind of strength and standing in your power it, yeah, it's made this person look at themselves. It's made this person look at the choices they've made for their own life. It's made this person think, damn, if I had invested in the Virgo Seven of Pentacles, if it was in the upright, where would, where could I have been? Where would I be? Three of Wands, Hangman. What could my future look like right now? Or even my present? Let's see, ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Forgiveness. And broken. So, let us do some individuals. How are we doing for time? Okay. So, let's do Leo. Virgo's dealing with a Leo spirit. What's the energy look like going forward? Oh dear. <laughs> so the bottom of the deck, you've got open your heart. It says it will help you to attract more love. But then the card that flew out for the Leo on top of the page of wands is liar. Right? It wasn't me. False person. It says be careful of someone sneaky. Tell me more about this Leo. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Thank you, Spirit. What's the strongest energy here? Give me six cards. You're talking shit, see? <laughs> Virgo's dealing with a Leo. You have, oops, marrying for money. So there's some Virgo, there's a Leo out here is looking at you as a, a little gold mind. You have loyalty. It came out sideways, though. See, some of you, again, it's that energy where I don't know if this Leo is going to come towards you talking some good-ish here, right? We're talking shit and the page of wands it landed on, right? Um, I don't even know if this is an energy where they will kind of, say, propose something to you, but it's sitting right with liar. And then, and then you've got this loyalty landing on the eight of swords where it kind of puts you in your head thinking, hmm, are they telling the truth? Are they serious this time? Loyalty, trusting, reliability, and believing. Let's see what clarifies it. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Coming out sideways, you have screenshot. It says getting evidence, proof, and facts. Be careful of giving out your passwords and things like that. And Show me more. I don't know if this is a Leo that likes to record things. I mean, if you pick up what I'm putting down. Show me more. You have stalker. It says stalking, watching, and obsessed. And then you have reflecting. Okay. Loyalty with reflecting. I'm telling you, the Eight of Swords is going to put you in your head. What's the loyalty and reflecting? Too many cards. Give me one for loyalty and reflecting. Apology, forgiveness, return and sorry. Yeah. But I mean, what I want to know, Spirit, is this. I mean, it's impossible to answer it for every person watching, right? Is this apology trustworthy is what I want to know. Twin flames, I don't know, maybe. Mirroring, shared feelings, reflection, divide masculine at the bottom of the deck. One card for my Virgos dealing with a Leo. Yeah, coming out sideways though, you see, don't let anything block your loyalty, okay? Your loyalty to your connection to spirit. Okay, Virgo's dealing with an Aries. 
So we have vacation. It says you will be traveling soon. So I don't know if there's an Aries that is traveling towards you here. But give me six cards before I run out of time. Spirit Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Coming out sideways is past life. It says deja vu. It says repeated patterns, karmic lessons. You have marrying for money again. You have unfazed though. And then you have scarcity tactics. Wanting to hit the liar card. Two more for Virgos dealing with and Aries. Love triangle. I don't know if someone married somebody for Murray. Murray. Maybe someone's name is Murray. But um, I don't know if someone married for money. Third party. Multiple lovers and choices. Mm. And what's unfazed? Forcer. Some of you may need to be careful with an Aries, okay? I don't know if this Aries has some sort of a temper, violence or something like that. It says, forces things on you, forces their way in. It says, uses force to get what they want, okay? Five of Swords energy, especially if you kind of coming off unbothered here, Virgos. So let me put this away. Okay, Virgo's dealing with a Sag. Now, for those of you dealing with Aries, I did hear something with that traveling and stuff, right? Be careful of documents with that forces things and, you know, just be careful. So, Sagittarius. Oh, coming out sideways on the Page of Cups. This could be new energy or maybe there's a Sag that's going to um, invite to take you out here. It says, give it time. Everything in divine timing. It says, let things flow. And then you have date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. So, six cards for Sagittarius. You have Carlos, though. Maybe someone. Maybe there's something about um, someone's vehicle or something. It says, no car, repo, car issues. You have dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Maybe someone's lying about a car. You have jackpot. It says, winning, money, got rich, inheritance, etc. Three more. Thank you. And then you have ignoring. Hmm. You also have apology, forgiveness, return and sorry. And then you have reflecting. So Virgos, that is the energy that I've picked up today. I do hope that something has resonated with you. Um, how are we doing for time? We didn't get one for Aries and Sag. Give me one for Aries. Two little witches, magical space clearing time. So it looks like your ancestors clearing up some mess. And or they want to come in and clear up something and Sag. Yeah, an important end for a new beginning. So I don't know if some of you are having a new beginning with a Sagittarius. But like I said, if anything resonated, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe, love and light, guys.